Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we ran an attack on the oil fields in an attempt to save Eagle Flies, but Dutch was in that for his own gain because Dutch is turning into a right bastard of a man. Seriously, Dutch has gone off the fucking deep end. He left Arthur Morgan for dead and tried to blow it off on Morgan. I still did not look up the Litchfield Repeater and what it's actually based off of. Seriously, Dutch. He's lost it. He's just fucking lost to Dutch. Is, I don't I don't even know what to think about Dutch. At first I liked the guy. He was charismatic. He wasn't perfect, but he was a likable guy, but now he's gone off the fucking deep end. Who goes there? Arthur, dumbass. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. Now one that sounds sincere. Yes, I heard you the first time. <laughs> I know, girl. I know. Fuel. You be good now. Come on, Dutch, where are you? Who are those two creepy fellas over with Micah? Two guns, he knows. What the hell are they doing here? I have no idea. <sighs> Arthur, I'm, I'm real scared. This, this ain't good. I agree. So am I. Okay. You know, I'd have been killed in that factory if it wasn't for Eagle Flies. And Dutch? Oh, he did nothing. Less than nothing. He ran. You gotta just look out for yourself now, Arthur. I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, it all happened so fast. Well, try to keep your head straight. All right. Who are you? Name's Joe. I'm with Micah. With Micah? Well, more fool you. Just what you doing here? Micah brought us here for the train job. Name's Cleet, by the way. He did. Well, did at he? least you ain't run off, okay? Well, I'll be watching you, Cleet. Dutch, we need to have a talk. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna. <coughs> this is a tough time. 
And you ain't, you ain't doing too well. But we, our community, we will survive. No, we won't. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country no more, Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more and train. That's a goddamn train. Arthur! <coughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all. Going to plan. We rob Uncle Sam and we leave. <laughs> the poetry of it all. What do you think? It sounds wonderful. Hell, yeah. I ain't got much to lose, but you know, the women and the children. And John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go, because if the Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John? Insist? Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will. See to it, huh? Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. So you we say. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. He insists. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. I think that crash in the tram scrambled your brains, Dutch Vanderlind. Dynamite. No, I can do it. You sure? I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. You got it. 
Alright, let's get this done. No point in putting this off any longer. So listen, Abigail just told me, the money, it's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah, so much for never hiding it near camp. Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train, Arthur. One last train. There's always one last train. Welcome to Lemoyne. Not a very welcoming place, if I must be so honest. Dutch. something different. Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. Oh, Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, uh, San Denis. Good to be back. Happy memories, huh, John? Will you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Quiet. All of you. Oh, now it's hot. Sadie, you board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. Should I just sneak on now? God damn it. Well... Everybody mount up! We still going through with this? Of course we are! Come on, Arthur! We gotta get on that train! We can jump on inside! Yeah.
I've tried to rob a train on my own before. It doesn't go well. Look at I got a couple of rifles. Uh, the semi-auto shotgun and the Litchfield repeater. Need that head, buddy. Oh no, that's bad. Yeah, I. A Amber Alert in Waxahachie, Texas. A 2012 white Nissan. Sorry for that interruption. Really? Shoot the big gun. Well done. Back here, Lord. John. John. Stop your gun. You protect that money. 
around, Arthur. I'll go stop the train. Stop the train? Whatever you do, do not stop the train. You secure up ahead, but keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. Sadie, is this absolutely necessary? I appreciate the help of you spotting targets, but... Okay, Sadie, seriously, the color commentary, not necessary. Where's John? I tried. I tried. He didn't make it. That patrol killed him. We had to run. Come on, let's go. Before another patrol turns up. Ha, ha. Except that's not true. As we see in Red Dead Redemption 1, that's where jo that's where John Marston bailed, and I don't blame him. Dead Redemption. Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. 
Without John, she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Yep. We need to keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so we it. we just gonna let the boy be made an orphan? It, it ain't like that. So what is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I still got the choice, Dutch. It's just a girl. You're right. Dutch, Micah. God, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. Dutch! Come on, boys. Yeah! Yeah! God damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Let's do it. Here. Take this. <clears throat> you take this money, too. Take Jack. And you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! But we are gonna do that next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. We got ourselves a lady to rescue. So join me then. But until then, I'm signing off. Good God, I fucked that one up, didn't I?